guys, welcome back. It's supposed to be Friday. It's not Friday. <laughs> um, this is technically Vlogmas Day 10 and 11. Yesterday, um, I kind of got drunk and decorated my Christmas tree instead of upload it, finishing uploading this video. <laughs> Drunk me did a good job, so I'll show you at the end what that looks like. It's, 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 it, 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 she did fine. She did fine. She didn't break anything, so that's... The, that's the main thing, right? Okay, so today I have a small, emphasis on the word small, torrid haul for you. Um, there is literally like five items in this haul, like literally hardly anything. The cup is like already coming off my nose. Is... <laughs> Lol, <laughs> my nose is like, nah, no, we don't need makeup, it's fine. <laughs> We'll just be Rudolph. We'll be Rudolph today. It's warm. It's already 31 degrees outside. I don't mind torrid order because it's on here, like, how much it was and how hilarious it was. Uh, so, torrid uh, email me twice a day every day. <laughs> it turns out that that's a lot of emails, torrid. Can you just chill? Okay, I got a discount of $149.50 off of this order, USD. Um, it came to $237.50 USD, uh, 50 USD um, and shipping was $88, 88 USD to ship to me. That is absurd. That is... It doesn't cost me that much. Like, I'm a, I own a very small business. And I ship stuff overseas all the time. And anything under two kilos costs less than $40. Why did it cost me $88? I don't know. Anyway, every time I added more items to my car, the shipping got more expensive. At one point, the shipping cost me $150. So I had to remove stuff from my car. Like, I wanted to spend more money, but their shipping is hilarious. <laughs> so, I got one, two, three, four, five, six items. Two of which are these camisoles, so like they're tiny items really. Um, yeah, I really, really wanted to order more, so Torrid, sort your shit out. <laughs> because some of us like your stuff over here and we just want to, we want to try more, okay? Because you actually have real nice shit, okay? <laughs> um, so, the first two items I got were literally these camisoles. They're called the White Scoop Neck Tunic. Foxy Cami and the black scoop neck tunic Foxy Cami. I don't have a picture of me in the white one because I wore it on Thursday and in my wisdom I was like, yeah, I'll just wear it today and then I'll put it on tomorrow when I do my haul. And then I got the dirty Christmas decoration boxes out of the garage in the bright white top. So that was a recipe for stupidity and disaster, wasn't it? <laughs> I really like these. They're quite thick material and they're long. Um... The picture of them on the website, you could see they were definitely long camis, and as you know, I have a long torso, so these were definitely right up my street, so I got one in each colour. They were quite spendy for what they are. They were 22 USD. I don't know whether that's before or after the discount, unfortunately. <laughs> it's math I, I can't do. Um, <laughs> um, but they are nice quality. I could, pro like... The ones I've got from ASOS, which are about probably the same price, with free shipping, might I add, um, are pretty much the same quality and the same length, like they're the long ones as well. Um, I hate camis that kind of stop just literally at your thing and then you walk along and it starts to ride up and it's like, oh, you have to stop putting it down. Because I wear camis under pretty much everything. Um, I don't know why, I'm, that's just because I like to do this, probably. Yeah, so they're nice, but don't think they're worth buying for someone overseas like that's going to have to pay the stupid shipping on them. Um, you're better off getting other things that are exclusive to Torrid, like this guy, which is, um, like, I love Gilmore Girls. It's one of the things I watch probably twice a year, every freaking year. The day they added it to Netflix, I rejoiced because my um, downloaded copies were starting to get a little ropey. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Um, 
And when I saw this, I was like, you're mad, <laughs> you're going home with me. This is Luke Steiner thing. It does actually have this on the back. I don't know if I, on, in the video, actually turned around so you could see the one on the back, but there is a big Luke Steiner icon on the back of it as well. And I was just here for it. And it's quite a thin jersey as well. So it's perfect for here. <laughs> it's very fluffy though. It has left fluff all over like my shirts on the inside but hopefully once I've washed it once it won't do that anymore <laughs> you better not um the original price of this yeah so this must be the prices on here must be before the discount because there's no way I would have paid $65 for this so I think I got I think it was 40% off it was pre-black friday sale I think no torrid is always running a sale well it was the 30th of october so it would have been there Halloween sale probably <laughs> because yeah like they email twice a day every day there's probably a sale every freaking day right just the way it is um so original price 65.50 but it is I probably still would have paid premium for it let's 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 face it I probably would have <laughs> I have a problem okay so the next item I have is another jacket which I love this jacket it's so cute oh I haven't actually said what sizes I got stuff in but it's not actually on here yeah see today on their website there's 40 percent off like okay but then they go around and charge you lol prices for shipping so I mean it ends up you end up paying the same price pretty much I would Okay, so I got this in a size one. Don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and I got the tunic camis in a size one as well. Um, this I got in a size two because it was a jacket. I didn't know how stretchy it was going to be. It looks kind of a bit tuxy. So I didn't know whether it was going to have any stretch whatsoever. And I just wanted it to definitely fit. Um, so I got this in a size two, which says on the label is an 18 to 20 um, American, which is, it, it's fairly big, like, generally but this jacket is is quite small um it's it's a size up from what i would normally order um but it's cute it's a cute little military jacket and it's got the buttons and stuff i don't think it's supposed to like there's no way of actually doing this up this is all just for show it's just a cute little jacket and it's even got little where is it it's got, even got a button on the cuffs and stuff i just think it's very cute it's very heavy um now is that a fake, I think it's got fake pockets, I can't feel, yeah there's like a little pocket detail but it's a fake pocket, it's, it's a Shein pocket. <laughs> and it does come with a extra button so if you ever lose one of these there is a spare but let's face it you'll probably lose the spare before you lose one off the jacket, that's what normally happens to me. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me or not. And this one was $69.50. When did I actually order this stuff? Shipped on the 30th. So it took six weeks to get here. I ordered it on the 28th, so it only took two days to ship. That's fair enough. Um, what I paired this with in my video, or, or my trial, uh, is some they're called pixie pants it says lux pont red plaid pixie pant it's called a pixie pant and i love it it's a very like if you go into it going this is a very thick legging then you won't be disappointed it is a very thick legging the only i spent the whole day wearing these just say they're very comfortable the waistband is very thick and very large and i got these in a 2r i don't know what that means I think it's an 18 to 20 as well so it would be about 20 and they fit very nicely they're very stretchy though um the only thing i will say is that it's printed on the white which a lot of leggings do that they do print on white um because you know it's the best to show the colors on but that means that you know when you're actually wearing them they stretch a little bit at the i don't know whether you're gonna be able to see it even at the ankle here um where they're sewn together tiny bits of white show through and you know it's not really noticeable but i notice it and it annoys me 
<laughs> but it's the nature of the product, so I expect it when it's printed on white for it to do that. It's just that I was. It's something I kept noticing throughout the day. I was like, I can see the tiny little dots of white showing through where the stitching is, because they're a stretch pant. That's the only reason. These were fifty nine fifty, and they're so far my favourite plaid pants because you know I am on the lookout for several items. One is plaid pants, <laughs> Christmas pants, if you will. Um, the other is a pink hot pink shirt and the third is a velvet jacket um, and so far these are the best ones of the plaid pant variety that we have been searching for um, the only odd thing is this is the inside front what is this what 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 nature of like this is inside like what, the, what is this supposed to do? <laughs> Why is this here? It doesn't do anything for me. It just rolls up into a bunch and sits there, like, on the waistband. And it's like, what the fuck is this? I'm going to click through to see if it tells you what it is on the... Like, if it's, like, a secret tummy panel that doesn't fucking work. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, it says it's a hidden compression panel that keeps you smooth and supported. It doesn't work. <laughs> it needs to be a lot heavier duty. Like to tame this down here, you're gonna need. Have you got some industrial strength? That that. Yeah. That's, no. No. Um, they were a good fit. What does a two R mean? I don't know. Let me have a look at the size and fit guide. See if I can actually explain what this means. It's a regular length. Okay, it's a regular length, which was good length. Um. And yeah, a 2R would be a 2X, which means it's an 18 slash 20. So, yeah, okay, so it's about the right size because it, an 18 is an Australian 20, and that's what I am in pants. So, they, 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 yeah, okay, so it follows through fairly well, like, size-wise. Um, okay, um, yeah, that's almost all of it. The last item I have... I did get a pair of shoes because I have wide, I have the awesomest feet ever. They are big, they're a size Australian 10, UK 8. Um, I have high arches and a wide foot. <laughs> so getting cute shoes is a mission. <laughs> um, so the main, actually the main reason I wanted to try Torrid in the first place is because they do cute wide fit shoes. Um, these I accidentally ordered in size 11 and I don't know why or how that happened. Um, I don't know whether it was me being stupid or whether, you know, I put in the wrong size, like, just didn't notice. I, I don't know. Um, they almost fit. I need those little doohickeys that sit at the back here. Um, I can put these on without having to undo this, which I really like. Uh, there's a little bit of elastic on this side so you can just... I can just put my foot in, <laughs> which is a real plus to me, because these, I don't know if you've ever tried to do one of these up on the side of your foot when you're trying to put them on, they're a pain in the butt. Um, I really, really like the shape, I really like the um, mesh, and I think they'll be really nice for Christmas. The only drawback is that already, uh, you know, Molly wiped her face on this one already, and like, it, it does leave a mark. It really does, and that's a bit of a bummer, but... It's probably something only I can see, <laughs> to be honest. Um, how much were these? Forty-seven fifty, I think this is. No, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> uh, Fifty-nine fifty, these were before discount. Um, but like these are pretty big, so it does mean that if I order stuff for it again that I can definitely get a size 10 and it will definitely fit because these are only just too big and like one of those squishy cushiony things in the bottom and the little heely thing at the back is going to make them fit perfectly. Um, yeah. So I like Torrid stuff. I sh think their shipping policy sucks. And that's that. <laughs> um, 
yeah, like, it, you can say, oh, you saved $150, but I didn't really save $150 on this order. I saved 40 something because of the shipping. And if you combine that with the exchange rate, this actually cost me more than $300. Uh, it cost $310 altogether. So that kind of makes me go, I could buy like 20 pieces from Shein, or I could buy seven pieces from City Chic, you know, and, and get more items, uh, a bit more bang for my buck. But I just wanted to try them out because everyone raves about how good Torrid is for plus size. And it is good, but I don't think it, uh, justifies the amount of shipping that they have charged me <laughs> um, so your mileage may vary I guess it's the uh, the only thing is I wanted to show you uh, this really cute gold sequin bomber jacket that I wanted and oh my god like I've been obsessed by this thing and I didn't order it as soon as I saw it and I regretted it immediately because obviously everyone else saw it and went oh my god it's amazing and bought it so it's one of those places as well where if you see it and you really want it, get it right then because everyone else is freaking shopping there as well. Because, yeah, they have big sales. Like, there's 40% off today. There's probably going to be 50% off tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, let's move on. Let's do some advent calendar stuff. Because I uh, didn't do any advent calendar stuff with you yesterday, did I? Because I was busy getting drunk and doing Christmas trees. Um... I also have this tiny package that I've forgotten what it is when I went and replaced a bunch of stuff uh, at Bed Bath and Table the other day when I was getting decorations. I think I remember what it is now I'm hearing it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Look how cute they are! Yes, that's completely useless gingerbread measuring. <laughs> but. Is that not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? <laughs> They're so cute. Look, they say what they are on the back. So it actually does work. I don't know whether the, like, the little smile and stuff is raised. Would that not have a bearing on measurements? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they factored that in. Anyway, these came home with me. Let me see how much they were. These were 30% off of whatever this says. So don't judge me too harshly. 15... Yeah, 14.99. So... They probably cost me about ten dollars, so um, so, like, don't judge me. Don't judge me. My weirdness. Yes, as you can see, there are lots of Christmas-based bits of bullshit here on the table. Um, what have we got? We've got ten and eleven because today's the eleventh. Oh, we got some more quick king fibers. I'm, I, I don't. I still don't know if it's queen or king fiber in barefoot. Okay, it's all blueies and purplies and specklies. Very pretty. Um, not sure why it's called barefoot, but you know, whatever. Okay. I name my yarn things that don't make sense any, anymore either. Hedgehog fibers in pistachio. Oh, does that mean it's going to be green and fleckly? Is, is that all it means? Um. Uh. Like, I like it, but we need to have a talk about what pistachios look like, hedgehog fiber, because there's nothing pistachio-ish about this. It's pink. It's like baby pink, baby blue, and baby yellow. Like, there's barely any green. Where, where's the pistachio-ness? Uh, we, we need to have a talk about what color pistachios are, people. Anyway, it's pretty, but yeah, it's not, it's not pistachios. <laughs> right, are we going to get any makeup shit today from this fucking box? Where is number 10? Ooh, number 10 is a big one. Ooh, bloody hell. What the? Oh. It's a, it's, it, it's a candle. And it says one beautiful fragrance. Fragrance can create many beautiful memories. It's by Ritual of Sakura. And then on the back it just says rituals. Um, I'm going to try and figure out what the hell it's. It smells very uh, strong. It's got a very strong scent. Oh, uh, is that supposed to happen? 
I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah, there's glue on the bottom. It's unglued itself. Um, it does not say what flavour or scent. I always call it flavour. My husband's like, why are you eating the candle? Um, it doesn't say what scent it is. It says Ritual of Sakura, but like, I don't think Sakura is... I mean, it smells nice. It's very strong. It's very floral, but I'm not sure. I... Oh, a silicone kit. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what scent that's supposed to be, but it's pretty. Uh, okay, so what else is there? Number 11. Oh, dear. Handle, go back in the... Okay, here's 11. Ooh, a, a sashido. Something. Shishido, 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 Ultimoon Power Infusing Concentrate. But doesn't say it co what, what, concentrate of what? What do you do? Hello? What? Power Infusing Concentrate 3. Okay, so this is a third iteration of whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Okay. I think it's just a skin serum. It says serum in a different language on the back, so I assume it's a skin serum. I don't know what you do with it. I don't know whether you just rub it into your face. Um, I will Google it and just stick a little thing about it, because I don't fucking know, okay? <laughs> it says it's going to energise something, but it hasn't met me, so it's got its work cut out for it. <laughs> Whatever it's supposed to be. Oh, sure. we, will, we will find out together. Okay, that was our days 10 of 11 advent calendar extravaganza. Uh, let's uh, go look at my tree. Oh, didn't drunk me do a good job? Yes, it all is pretty much just hanging stuff. I have a problem with balls. I collect them. There is always something new and interesting hanging to look at there. That, that's probably too close together, drunk me, but oh well. Um, yeah, there's some new things up over. Mark Sunspell says gin in a tin. Santa, he is really old. He came, he came from a garden centre I used to work at when I was 16, so he almost 20 years old. A gin bottle with a thing. Yeah, there's just something different every time you look at my tree. So we, you know, there's a guy there. <laughs> it's just all interesting. <laughs> anyway, so we've got more lights going on up here. Uh, and some houses with some shit. But these are supposed to have candles in, but I haven't got a fuzz actually doing that yet. <laughs> and then up here are the guys that I had to replace. Um... My boy reindeer was replaced with a second girl reindeer and her fancy little gilet. And we've got some more weird things like, can you tell that I would be a charge key person if I wasn't, if I was left to my own devices, everything would just be covered in bits of stuff. Yeah, so this is my tree. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, this, this is what I was doing instead of making videos yesterday. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow, maybe.